Noises are weird. Oh, are we live, John? Uh, John Sorry, I'm just licking pizza off my fingers. But got this pizza from Pizza Doctor, which sponsors this show, by the way. You can find them at, uh, uh, shoot, what's it called now? Mill Creek Village. No, Gloucester Creek Village. <laughs> Pretty brave to pull out one pizza, too, by the way. Mmm, mmm. So good. <laughs> Trust me, guys. We'll do this on in a minute. Hey, welcome in to the DJ Fresh Foot Football Preview Show. I'm Brad. Pro tip, don't try to do a show with your mouth full. Um, that's Dalton, and this is Cody Stubblefield, the Albany head football coach. So we are, yes, in the Albany this week as the Bulldogs get ready for a playoff game. Uh, second round, we'll talk about that in just a second. Just want to thank you all for tuning in. We come to you every Wednesday during the football season, uh, Facebook Live, and later on you can find it at djournal.com. And uh, also, I want to thank, again, Pizza Doctor for sponsoring the show and feeding the entire New Albany football team. Absolutely. And coaches. So that's a good deal. Big for, thank you on that one. Good deal for everybody there. Okay, so we're going to spend the next few minutes. We're going to talk to Cody. We're going to look at our uh, games to watch, uh, the game of the week, and of course we'll hand out the Broughton Award, which uh, is you know, I got a nomination. Do you? Well, we've already chosen it. Okay, well, but that's okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of the more prestigious awards you can win around here, to be honest. Uh, but let's uh, well, heck, let's start with you, uh, uh, Cody, and, and the game you got coming up. Second round at Greenwood, right. coming off a good win against uh, Shannon. And C.J. Hill had a huge night for you. Uh, yeah. 276 yards rushing, seven total touchdowns. And, I mean, that's a Shannon defense that I've seen play a couple times this year, and I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, and they're still an athletic team. Shannon's, you know, year in, year out, they do well. Um, Carter had them. They played well. I think our offensive line took over. C.J. Hill had a tremendous night, but uh, the combination of our O line and C.J. I think proved too much for them. So, uh, yeah. extremely excited about the effort they gave. And, of course, now, the, the two times I saw uh, – uh, Shannon's defense was against Corn and Itawamba, both very run heavy teams. Right. Y'all have the ability to throw the ball to Charlie a lot. How much do you think that helped him be a little more balanced? You know, I think balance has been the difference this year versus this year's team and last year's team. Last year with Logan, we threw the ball a lot. This year, Charlie, like you're saying, we're able to throw the ball. Uh, we've kind of changed a little bit since uh, Isaiah Cron has been injured. That's forced us to go a little bit more run heavy. Um, but we still have the ability to throw the ball, which is, you know, any time you got the threat with a run and pass, yeah. they, you're in a lot better uh, position. So, Well, speaking of teams that can run and pass, Greenwood is one of those. Uh, okay. They've got the quarterback, uh, Chris Smith, and they've got the running back, to Marion Addison, that both put up big numbers. Right. Uh, what do you see from them on film? Uh, you know, offensively, they're an explosive team. Uh, quarterback and running back are a really good duo. They've got uh, number one and number three receivers. Uh, I think number one. Uh, got just about at a thousand yards receiving. Yeah. Uh, so they're a team that can, if you don't know where they're at, if you give them too much room, they can expl be explosive and score quick. Uh, defensively, we got to play a line sign the football. Uh, I mean, you know, not give them second chance to make sure we wrap up um, and just be sound uh, on defense. So yeah. we definitely want to limit what they do offensively yeah. for sure. Yeah. Dalton. Well, yeah, just the 4A North is so stacked. And Greenwood, I think you just mentioned so good, they're one of those really the, the four teams that everyone's kind of talking about up here, and, you know, with them and Louisville, Corn, and Wamba, y'all are, but y'all are still just quietly stacking up win after win. I mean, y'all kind of taking maybe an underdog role this year? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, we, we want to be a team that, uh, that plays well on Friday night that gets after with their effort. Um, you know, we're trying to make sure people start knowing who New Albany football, who we are, who we're about, but it's been a year we've scratched and clawed, man. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, things started the season, however it may have started, it may have transitioned offensively. A little bit defensively still been trying to play um, but we're fine with that role you know mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to get the program back where it was previously when coach price was here and hopefully uh, keep that motion going and be more consistent so um, our guys are hungry they you know they know that nobody's thinking about new Albany this week mm -hmm. um, you know we hope we can go in there and surprise greenwood uh, you know it'd be fine with us for them to be thinking about those for friday night so <laughs> right. um, well you know you don't kind of hit on the angle with a lot but you know, just the balance the offense has a little long have you kind of seen him at progress over the year because he's just been really good. Yeah, you know, Charlie, 21 touchdown passes, only five interceptions. He's been a guy that's maintained and managed the game for us. Um, you know, Isaiah, and guy, Mason Simmons, Cameron Knox, we've got guys that uh, all do a really good job. Ramarian Crawford's another one. Uh, that run routes well to get open and he's been able to put the ball on. Uh, he's also lines, running backs up and, and knows the protection wise. So he's a coach on, and a captain on the field. Uh, he's worked extremely hard all year. I think the most impressive thing I can tell you about Charlie is he pushes it every every day. Uh, the summer, the weight room, whatever it is, he's been a leader all the way. So uh, you know, it was year two for him. He got to kind of sit behind Logan last year and learn the offense, and I think that's paying off for him uh, because he came in with an understanding of it. And uh, you know, we don't 
some little complicated thing, but we try to get really good at a few things, and, and that's helped him uh, tremendously, I think. And the offense has been really good this year, but you're playing a Greenwood defense that gives up like 7.9 points a game. Yeah. So, I mean, this will probably be, will this be, you think, maybe your offense's biggest challenge or one of them this yeah, year? Probably so. Uh, I think uh, Karn's got a good defense. You know, we play some teams that are good defensively. Nobody that's got the average that they've got. Um, but, you know, we, we want to get four yards on first down, four yards on second, and then yeah. uh, just be consistent. Uh, you know, we think that if we can establish the run game, we're going to be able to hit them, spread them out, and do some things in a quick game. Uh, pass them that, you know, we just want to rack up first downs and hopefully sure. first downs lead, to, lead touchdowns. Uh, again, it's uh, New Albany at Greenwood, second round of the 4A playoffs on Friday night. And uh, now we move on to the games to watch. There we go. Uh, five, four games to watch, then the game of the week. I put it on by y'all on Twitter. Uh, before we do that, we need to go back and look at last week's picks by me and Dalton. And uh, Dalton, you were so, so close to taking over. Taking I the over. so, so bad, though. And you were one game back. <laughs> Last week, Dalton goes two and three, leaves himself at 37 and 18. You picked against New Albany. I did. Um, I did. <laughs> Don't prove me wrong. I'm glad we proved you wrong. Absolutely. Uh, then I happen to go <clears throat> five and zero. Oh. Uh, this means I picked New Albany. Uh, so I, there you go. So I'm now 41 and 14. I've got a uh, uh, perhaps an insurmountable four game lead on you, Dalton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, we had three games. We picked different. Bad week, though. Yeah, we picked three games differently. He won all three. That's the way it goes sometimes. And as far as closest pick of the week, uh, that would go to me as well. Uh, I picked the Independence to be angry 26-24, and the final score was 26-24. Me as well. Me as well. I knew you were there. Impressive. That's right. Okay. Just saying. Putting it out there. Game number one, uh, Charleston at East Union in the 2 way playoff second round. Uh, well, heck, you've seen East Union, Cody, and they've got that offense, Ty Walton and Dewan Hubbard and that whole bunch. Uh, they can really put up some points, but Charleston, that's one of those Delta teams, man. It would be hard to, to match them athletically. A lot of speed at Charleston. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we saw East Union early. They were, it was kind of their first game with that spread concept that they're doing. Um, but, you know, I think, I think the speed of Charleston has been getting problems. Yeah, I think so, too. So, prediction time, uh, I'm going to say Charleston picks up this win on the road. I will say 38-28, uh, to 28. Dalton. I'm going to go to Charleston, 28-7. Seven. Okay. Uh, second game, it's the one we just talked about, New Albany at Greenwood, the second round of the playoffs. Again, Greenwood, what, they're undefeated, aren't they? They are. They are. 11 0, yeah. And uh, now we know y'all can, can, can score some points, but they can as well. And, whew, I don't know, man. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, I'm not sure if I can pick uh, y'all again this week, Cody. It's, it's hard to pick against Greenwood at home, so I'm going to go with the other Bulldogs. Right. We, we upset Dalton last week. You did. Yeah, that's right. I'll go with them. Uh, I'll say uh, 35 uh, 24. I'm um, also going to pick against you guys in weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. You guys can prove me wrong again. I used to like you. But <laughs> I think y'all play them closer than any team has all year, 28-21. Okay. Yeah, could be a ball game, no doubt. Uh, Tupelo, South Panola. Tupelo uh, looking for revenge. Dalton lost to him by, what, six uh, early in the season? 21-15. Yeah, but uh, South Panola's gotten even better since then. Uh, mm -hmm. But Tupelo has as well. Uh, and Tupelo's played some tough, tough competition. So they'll be prepared for this game. It's a first round 6A playoff game. But uh, I, I, you can't pick against South Vanilla at home. I can't anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'll go with them uh, again in this one. I'll say 24 to 14 South Vanilla. 28 14 South Vanilla. 28 14 South Vanilla. Okay. Uh, we are in agreement at this point, Dalton. West Lauderdale, I did up on the AHS. Uh, Ike Chandler and the Indians looking to go to 13 and 0. Uh, they've just been rolling along. They're one of those teams in 4 8 that you talk about, Dalton, that uh, people think could. Uh, make a deep run and I've seen him play and Chandler's a real deal you know uh, 2200 plus yards rushing uh, that Dave Young's the uh, great quarterback and uh, West Lauderdale uh, good team really good team but uh, I'm going to have to go with Ed Wamba at home I'm going to say 27-22 uh, I don't know much about West Lauderdale <laughs> I, I didn't look into him but I'm going to go with Ed Wamba go 35-21 uh, okay. okay there you go and now that brings us to the game of the week is voted on by y'all on Twitter. It is a Tupelo Christian at Baldwin. Uh, Tupelo Christian is eight and three. Baldwin seven and four. First round playoff game in one A. Uh, three keys to the game. Key number one, as uh, Baldwin coach Michael Gray uh, told me earlier this week, got to cut the head off the snake. That means they need to stop Kai Holiday, the uh, prolific PCPS quarterback who can run it and throw it and do just about everything. Uh, easier said than done. Cody, as you know, when you're trying to take out the team's, other team's best player, it's the right strategy, but it's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. You, should, you, know, you want to play better football than they do. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
find a way somehow or another. Yeah, so maybe, but if they can slow down Holiday, then that, I think that certainly gives them a shot. Uh, and this could be a shootout, by the way, because the ball was a fine offense as well. Uh, key number two, turnovers. Uh, TCPS, last week, I covered that game against West Lance. They lost three fumbles in the first half, all down around the red zone. Uh, now, the defense uh, stiffened up and didn't, uh, didn't cost them too much. Uh, then Kai Holiday, he has thrown eight interceptions. Not a bad number by any means, but uh, still, you know, he had the eight picks in 11 games. So, you know, he's vulnerable perhaps if he played the defense. And then you look at Baldwin, conversely, only six turnovers over their last eight games. So they take care of the ball. Maddox Ritchie, a quarterback, uh, has done – he threw an interception last week. It was the first one since like week three or four. Uh, and so uh, they do a good job uh, on offense of taking care of the ball. And then a key, a number three, and this, Cody, is always the most important key. Which head coach would be more likely to have a popular TikTok page? It's got to be Holiday, right? See, that's what I was thinking. Holiday's always in like motivational speaker mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Michael Gray's is a little more laid back, easy going type. Stoic down there. Yeah, stoic. So, yeah, I could see Holiday has the personality for yeah. it. I'm not, I was, I was going to ask you if, if you even knew what TikTok was, but you have all these teenagers you, know. you deal with. You probably do. Yeah, these guys know about it. So, yeah, yeah. as a result, I've got about teenage it. kids, so that's. Probably that's why I know. Uh, okay, uh, Dalton, prediction time. Uh, boys, this is a tough one. I think it'll be a shootout. Who you got? Uh, I'm really I'm really excited to see you know, Noah Foster and Jacoby Williams go at it. Yes. At the receiver and DB positions. Um, <clears throat> but I think TCPS offense is a little too strong. Mm -hmm. You have too many athletes, I think, and I think they're going to win. This should be, I'm going to go 35-21, like I said earlier on the other game. Okay. I'm going to go with Baldwin in this one. I think they pulled the mild upset, and I think it will be a shootout. And I will pick Baldwin, 41 to 38. Nice. High school. Yeah, indeed. That kind of game I, I like to watch. So that is your game of the week and your games to watch. And now we move on, finally, to the Brawlton Award. Brad Dalton Brawlton, see? So it's the best one-two punch from the week before. We're going to do things a little different this week. Uh, the Brawlton Award this week, it usually goes to teammates. We're going to go with Ike Chandler of Itawamba and Randy Anderson of Lafayette. Uh, Chandler, the running back, was named Mr. Football for Class 4A earlier this week. Uh, he's rushed for 2,299 yards and 28 touchdowns for the undefeated Indians. Anderson, the quarterback slash athlete uh, for uh, Lafayette, he was named the 5A Mr. Football. Uh, he's rushed for 1,389 yards and 18 touchdowns, and he's also passed for 446 yards and five touchdowns. He's got some receiving numbers as well. Yeah, and of course, Dalton, you remember, he was kind of banged up to start the year. They had someone else at quarterback. He got hurt. And ever since Anderson's been under center again the last half of the season, he's been lights out. Yeah, I think he's rushed for 100 yards in six of the last seven games, or six yeah. of the last eight games or something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's good. Just FYI, I voted for both of those guys. There you go. <laughs> and Ike Chandler, uh, as you know, Cody, is uh, one of the best he's very good running, running backs around. Uh, so, hey, that's it uh, for this uh, episode of the DJ Preps Football Preview Show. Be sure to check out our podcast as well, Prep Rally. Coming to you every Wednesday in iTunes and your podcast apps or online at preprally.djournal.com. We'll have one up later this afternoon. Follow us on Twitter at djournalpreps for our football coverage uh, all week, and especially uh, in Saturday's journal uh, game coverage and at djournal.com. Thank you to Cody Stubblefield, the Albany head football coach, for hosting us. And thank you, of course, the pizza doctor for uh, sponsoring the program and for providing pizza for the entire New Albany football team. Uh, I hope they enjoy it. Thank you, Pizza Doctor. Thank you, Pizza Doctor. We'll see you all next week.